Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you join the crew. And if you're already subscribed, salute. But today we're gonna be taking a look at a package right here. Um, this is the Nokia 3.4. I did pick this up off of Amazon, purchased it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So this is, uh, we're here for your for you, breed.com products. Nokia 3.4 so we do have the device right here so let's just take a look at it um, it says cutting edge software cutting edge software for longer Android 11 ready so we have Android 11 on this device more powerful smoother performance Qualcomm Snapdragon 460 now the Motorola um, the Moto E7 Plus that I have has a Snapdragon uh, 460 and it's really good now this one does have uh, 6.39 HD plus punch hole cutout, 13 megapixel plus a two megapixel depth sensor plus a five megapixel ultra wide plus a eight megapixel front camera, portrait mode, night mode, two day battery life, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, type C charging, the okay Google option, Snapdragon as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, box in a little bit more detail. This is the, looks like the slide out one. Um, they have some tape on here. It looks like it was already opened. I might, I might have to see about this. Okay, so we have the device right here. It says, hey Google, assistant button right here. Press the talk. Um, <clears throat> on the bottom, it tells me that it's the gray color. So that's gonna be, let's go ahead and take this one out. So we have the device right there to the right. Let's go ahead and see what else comes in the box. We have your SIM tray remover tool. And you also get your, your, your type C charging brick with the cord as well. That's pretty cool. Put that off to the side. And your user manuals, no headphones in here. Um, so just the standard unboxing. It's pretty cool. Let's put this all off to the side, back in the box. I'm looking forward to testing out this device because um, it does have Android 11. Uh, it's, it's a really affordable price point as well. So the Nokia 4.2, let's go ahead and check it out right now. We have the device in hand. Feels pretty lightweight. Uh, it's got this plastic material wrapped around it. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the device right here. I like the texture of this. It kind of feels like, you know, like a hard plastic material. This definitely gives off really sick vibes because it has like a black, but then a frosted um, golden color over top of it, which is really hard to see in the light. I don't know if you could see that. Um, let me bring this closer. So it's like the, this is a really cool color. It's like an undertone of gold and you can see like blue sparkles on it. It looks almost like the sky when you're looking at the sky at the nighttime and you see like the stars in the sky. Uh, that looks really cool. All right, so let's give it some juice right here. Let's take a look. So the power button's right here. Volume rocker's right above it. It has like a square boxy shape to it. I love that about this device. Uh, really square boxy shape to it, Round, rounded corners as well. Punch hole cut out right at the top. I really like the, the how the sides are flat. So you got like a flat side on these this device. I wonder if it can stand up by itself. That's probably, it can't stand up by itself, but like, it gives you that vibe that it's like really flat. Now it's set up for the United Kingdom. Let's go ahead, change it to the United States right here. And we're gonna go ahead, click, uh, get started. Right here, you can see, you can insert a SIM card um, to the device. Let's go ahead, skip that. We'll do that on the next video and check it out in a little bit more detail with the SIM card, play some games. I might even um, take some picture samples uh, so right here you can see we do have Wi-Fi connection. 
um, I'm not seeing uh, the five gigahertz Wi-Fi option on here. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Let me see how the keyboard feels on here. The nice vibration on the buttons, really nice vibration. Um, okay, so I just entered my Wi-Fi password. Really nice um, button. Um, I like how the, the vibrated, the buttons feel when you click them, it has a really, really nice feedback to it. And um, overall, so it says authentication problem. I might've entered the wrong password. Uh, let's try that one more time. And then let me hit connect. All right, if, if it doesn't work this time, I'll just skip. Okay, there we go. So we do have Wi-Fi on this device now. It connected to the regular one. So it says checking for updates right now. Android 11 ready. I'm definitely gonna have to use this. And um, even the Google Pixel um, 4 uh, A that I have has Google, the 11, but like that nice, it says this is a gray color, which it does look like, but you could see the back has like this golden undertone, like the midnight sky almost feels. And then right here, it looks like the desert sand when you move it in the light. That That's really cool. It almost looks like a, a cobra skin or like a snake skin. That's exactly what it looks like, like a snake skin or something. It says right here, um, I'm not gonna copy anything here for data. Let's go keep going. But uh, the phone, I like the flat edges. You get type C speakers are at the bottom microphone for noise cancellation. You do have a headphone jack at the top as well as another microphone. It says I can um, sign in with Google. I'm going to skip that just because that's a, a longer process, but you could click continue. Let's click accept, set up a fingerprint. Uh, we'll do that. I'm going to set up my pattern password. Okay, so the, the I like the haptic feedback on here and the fingerprint is right on the back. So you can just enter your fingerprint right on there. Now, like I said, this does have Android 11. It doesn't have 5G on it, but it does have Android 11. I'm gonna see if it has like NFC, things of that nature. I think it might have NFC on, on board. Let's click next, next. And then it says enter your pin. Okay, cool. So now it's actually enrolling face facial recognition. That, that was cool. It says everything looks good right away in it, it enrolled facial recognition. Um, now it's saying here, do you want to set up these apps? I actually don't. Uh, is there a way to skip that? Let's click continue. So those are the apps that come on board. I really like the shape of this device, like I said, and it has a really nice weight to it. This aluminum edge right around the side of it. You get your SIM card remover slot right here with the Google button right here. Um, metal edges, which feels really good um, all the way around it. And then it's, you could see that the back cover is like champered or like the technology that they use to make that curved edge go all the way around it so nicely around the aluminum looks really premium. Now, let me see, ready to go. Okay, cool. So this is the device you get. Everything is Google on here, camera on here. Um, let me see the camera. Continue, night mode, wide angle right here so that's that's really cool wide angle regular angle portrait it says right here that you can click portrait and classic star heart what butterfly flake water drop hey, all different types this? of this portrait options camera. when you click this option here uh, you can do your face as well as a portrait i'm just going to do the classic one has a nice cool sound when you do a portrait. Let's take a look at that right here. Pretty good detail. It's downloading apps. I'm gonna make that stop because um, that usually takes up a lot of uh, 
mem like uh, energy for the phone. So let's just click X on all those and make sure that it's gonna stop. Okay, cool. So let me just see. So you get right here, we can click here and you get night mode light, uh, invert colors, dark theme, screencast, storage options here. Um, flashlight, let me see if we have like NFC on board. You can share. Everything is, uh, it says right here, Google high quality, Google Duo right there. And you also do have on this device in settings, let me see. Storage, we have 15, um, it says system includes Android 10, let me see. So you can see right here, 24% is used, 15.51 gigabytes um, of 64 used. So that's, it shows that um, this thing is still loading in the background. I'm gonna have to cancel this. <clears throat> okay, let me get out of that. So, and then let me just show you guys. Uh, other than that, the device looks pretty premium. It has um, gestures in here as well. Let me go into the system that we're on it is Android 10, but it does say, um, you know, it does say that we're gonna get Android 11 as well. So this is Android 10, obviously. Android 10 will be open later. I mean, 11 will be open later. But, um, you know, the phone is trying to set itself up right here, saying that it's installing all the apps and things of that nature. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go into YouTube and just listen to the sound quality of the speakers. Let me see. Let's go into my, my channel. I really like the haptic feedback on here. It has a really nice haptic feedback. Uh, let's try this video right here. Let's hit the volume rocker. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, get notified, subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you're already part of the crew, salute. But today we're going to be talking about the Vivo X6 from Blue Mobile. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, why? No one asked for this. Well, it's $100. So definitely pretty good speakers. Not bad whatsoever. Decent performance on here. It's, it's going to be running really smooth, really fluent. Um, you know, the Snapdragon 460 is 70% faster than the previous version, Snapdragon 450. So I, I really like the design of this camera module as well. It kind of gives you a vibe of like a, a um, I don't know, this looks like a, like a vinyl CD with, with, with cutouts on it. It looks like a face almost. You could, you could kind of be creative and like make your own ideas up of what that looks like, but you get the Nokia branding right here, dead center, which is kind of cool. Just a really nice phone. It feels good in the hand as well. Um, but let me set this up completely and I'll, I'll probably do some camera samples just to show you guys what the cameras look like, but I'll get right back with you later, crew. Peace.